Hello everybody, welcome to this new series on my channel. A great game which I was playing offline for a few hours yesterday. I am going to start again from fresh and this game is called Police Simulator Patrol Officers. I was playing this with my sister yesterday for about five hours. We just lost the day and had a great time. Uh, so I've decided to come on record it for you guys and i'll probably throw in a few sessions where me and lou play together as well um so you get a choice of female or male character female of course um we've got emma davies ashley chang olivia smith mia torres i'll probably go for emma davis um and so here, a game mode, simulation, the full experience designed for players who want an immersive experience. Casual, adjusted balancing and more hints on what's happening around the player makes game less punishing. Um, I'll go for casual because that's what we did yesterday and it just helps explain things a little bit more. Um, hopefully in the recording you don't hear my little doggy bark, but... I'm going to shake the treats and see if I can get her to come and behave. Okay, so the game itself. Come on, Luna, come here, Dylan. So, Melting Pot is um, the area we're working in, I believe. I don't think you... Can we pick a different district? I don't think you can. I think you've got to be a certain level. So... Here is the district overview where you can pick your next shift. You can play five shifts each week. You can take four days off a week and receive new shift options by pressing R. Okay, so what we're going to do is... Um, I'm going to... The handbook is huge. So I'm just going to confirm for now so that we can head straight into the game now of course we can only select melting pot because we need to move up the career a little bit okay so melting pot is a diverse district that includes the neighborhoods north point historic downtown alacombe chester and burford landing parts of the district are very old but it has continued growing and resulted in a diverse urban landscape where modern architecture meets historic buildings. Okay, so um, do you want to select this district for this week's shift? So we're going to say yes. Okay, so new shifts available. Um, so we're going to select this one here. Okay, Brighton. Um, Brighton has nearly half a million inhabitants and is one of Franklin's largest cities. The city was founded in 1622 and is one of the oldest cities in the USA. The harbour town has grown so much over the years that its downtown district had to be re relocated to land further away. Compared to other harbour cities... Due to its size, a lot of citizens from the metropolitan area are drawn into the city for work, leisure and leisure each day. This ensures there is always something for the police to do here. So the shift information, we're going to be doing some foot patrol and the morning. Um, you can actually decide how long you do your shifts for. I'm going to go for the shortest amount because I'm recording here. I want to go through a couple of shifts each episode. Um, so I don't want it to be a long shift. Eventually, we might end up doing one shift per episode, but let's just get through the game. Okay, so our first job is to issue parking Hello, tickets. Hello, officer. It's your first day on the job, and your first shift is to issue parking tickets. So be on the lookout for vehicles violating parking regulations. Be on your guard and show presence when you encounter other violations. Always remember to have reasonable suspicion before you detain someone and a probable cause with sufficient evidence before making an arrest. Now, some days are better than the others, and remember, every day is different. Good luck. Thank you, officer. I'll keep that in mind. 
Okay. Uh, so just a quick tour around here. So I have been, I have done five hours play game time. So I do know a tiny bit about this game. Not a lot, because there's quite a lot to learn. But I do know enough for these first few um, episodes. So these are the holding cells here. Um, offices around the corner. And this is quite a small one because we head straight outside. Okay, your first shift. Welcome to your first day as a Brighton police officer. Your first assignment is to issue parking tickets. If you see any violations during your shift, such as littering or jaywalking, you are encouraged to act. Detain the offenders, ask them for their ID and issue them a ticket. Keep Brighton City's uh, Brighton streets safe from any violations. In the top corner, you will find information on date, time and duration of your current shift. All new officers are advised to use the handbook for additional information about certain duties. You can open the police computer from the tool wheel by pressing Y. If the game is too easy or too t difficult, consider changing the game settings to enable or disable simulator features. We've been getting a lot of calls concerning the parking situation over the last few days. Will you keep your eyes open, officer? Copy that. Okay, so... I've got pretty good at doing this. Park parking tickets and speeding, I've practiced a lot. Um, so, straight away, this car is in a bus stop. So, this is getting a ticket. So, interact. Parking ticket. Special parking zone, bus stop. Earn points based on your actions in the game. That's called shift points. Conduct points are penalties. For example, asking for ID without a reason will deduct CP after each shift. Both CP and SP reward you with district points, which is XP, which earns you duty stars. You unlock items and other progression areas by accumulating enough duty stars. So in other words, don't make mistakes. So we're just uh, Bobby on the beat doing our thing. And it's quite nice you can interact with NPCs. Sometimes they even say hi to you. Not that one though. And you get um, points at the end for interacting with NPCs as well. So this car is parked quite far away from the edge. So I'm going to give this one a ticket. Parking wins. Okay, that's fine. You're valid. So we just have to keep within the designated zone that we have. It's a shame you can't stop for a snack, actually. That would be really cool. So this game has a, a DLC coming out in July, which is going to be Highway Patrol. And as you guys may know from my channel, um, oh, that car should have stopped. That was naughty. How you doing, officer? Can I say hi back? Whoopsie. Greet hi back. There. Um, there is a different game. Oh, you're on the sidewalk. Uh, there's a different game coming out by a different game maker, which is a highway patrol leasing game, which we are going to give a go. Um, when that comes out, uh, bus stop. Now, I noticed quite a few bugs when I was playing in... Um, multiplayer mode so it's for example if I put a ticket down I wouldn't be able to see it 
and sometimes I couldn't see certain people. Uh, police hand gestures. All right, I'm going to skip that. Sometimes people looked a bit mangled, which was quite disturbing. Um, and for example, taxi ranks have uh, something called they called you know we have uber and lyft there's a shift and you have uh they have stickers and in the multiplayer mode sometimes i couldn't see the stickers so i was giving people tickets when they shouldn't have had it so i was getting you know i was having issues that guy's parked in the wrong direction as well He's got two tickets. <laughs> Good luck, buddy. I'm going to run away just in case he comes back. <laughs> Alright, what have we got here? Oh, gosh. Yeah, there is a parking issue here. It's five meter. The other thing is I couldn't see the disabled stickers. Okay, in counter reports, you just lost your first CP for failing to act correctly. Ah. Could they park anywhere because they've got a disabled s sticker? Let's have a look. Handicap drivers are allowed to park in front of expired meters. I didn't know that. I'm going to jaywalk now. Can I greet you back? Can I greet you back? Come on. I want to greet you back. Background check. Certain interactions with pedestrians and vehicles like checking for ID or focus on a license plate. Enter a record in your police computer. The entity history displays all identification data for the current shift. Officers should make good use of the police computer as they will find additional entity information that is not on the ID cards or license plates. Hi, citizen. I feel it's a bit naughty, me jaywalking, but... Uh, you are in a bus stop. Now, this guy's got a disabled sticker, but he is parking on the sidewalk, so I'm still going to go for it and see what happens yeah so you still have to park well even if you are a disabled you have a disabled sticker okay disabled sticker right let's um, head around this corner and have a little mooch Okay, valid, valid, let's check the sign, what person just littered, who, who, ooh naughty, come here madam, you are not allowed to litter, not on my watch. Okay, after gaining evidence of a committed violation Punish the criminal either by issuing them a ticket, leave it with a verbal warning, or arrest them for several felonies. You can issue violations by um, one by one, or select them to issue violations at once. Even after handcuffing someone, it is possible to add additional violations. Okay. Littering. I have to fine you for littering, which will cost you $25. So much money for such a little infraction. I don't care. Don't do it. It's against the law, love. Uh, this guy's on the sidewalk. I am just gonna go for it, guys. Like, no mercy. This is my city and I'm gonna keep it clean.
All right, this guy is parked way too cro close to the crosswalk, but it looks like it's a valid parking spot. Mm, I would have been... I probably would have been a little bit more dicey with that one. Yeah, that's a signed area. He's a bit too far into the road. Ha <laughs> ha Oh! Is that not too far into the road? Huh? I see you. I see you. Okay, that's valid. See, we don't get parking fines or tickets for things like that in our country. If we did, everyone's such a bad driver. Well, not everyone. Okay, so I've been around there. I just haven't done the inside cars. Maybe I'll do the inside cars now. All right, let's have a look. Taxi stand. See, he's got a shift logo, so that's fine. He's got a shift logo. He's got a shift logo. That's fine. So that was what I couldn't see in multiplayer mode. Couldn't see it. Okay, that's valid. And valid. Valid. And valid, but you're on the sidewalk. And this is expired. We're proper bossing this, guys. We're just your usual bobbies on the beat, doing our thing. So we've done this section. Oh, oh someone just greeted us. Let's go say hi. Hey there. We're now back at where we started, so I'm going to go this side now. Um, I think I'll go up, right, then back down. The one thing I do find quite hard is keeping track of where I've been. two cars so valid okay focus on the license plate makes them easier to read if they are expired you can also focus on the car on the street and the pedestrians this is especially advisable when they they look like a wanted person or they're exchanging items you might want to take a closer look at the suspicion situation by using LB. Okay. Why is this an expired license plate? Is this woman being suspicious? seeing anything come up hmm. not sure about that one okay what have we got here that's valid. Am I supposed to be looking at for expired license plates? Am I? I'm not sure. Valid. 
Valid. Valid, but on the sidewalk. this. So that's a taxi stand. What's that one? That's part oh, okay, that's fine. This guy's parking in the wrong direction. Valid and expired. Someone's just littered. Let's have a look. See if we can still fight, see them. We can. I'm going to be naughty and jaywalk because I am the police. I'm writing you a ticket for littering. That will be $25. Why does it cost so much? Because it's against the law. I may as well go up this way now. Hiya. Hi. Yeah, that's valid. She's acting a bit weird. Who just littered? And Jay walked. Whoa. Come here. You will be fined for jaywalking, which will cost $25. I didn't expect it to be that expensive. I'm issuing you a ticket for littering. Okay, your first shift as Brighton police officer is over. Head back to the nearest precinct. You can still enforce the law en route and handle minor incidents. However, the police department won't reward officers who extend their work overtime too long. I don't have that much money. Well, that's your problem. Shouldn't have broken the law. Don't break the law on my watch. Okay, right. Let's head back. Thankfully, we're not too far away. Brighton Police Department. Patrol officer, your duty is never really over. Yeah, don't I know it? All right, let's end the shift and see what the next day brings. Okay, Maxwell Corp. This is our summary. Oh gosh, we did pretty well. We've unlocked a new callout type. Callout report speeders. We've unlocked the radar tool gun. And a new neighborhood. Excellent. Okay, so we messed up a couple of times. Um, if I pull up my mouse, that'll be easier. So uh, one of them was here, which was the expired parking meter. And I think that was for the disabled car. I think. Where's the other one? Where's the other minus? Here. Oh, they're too far away from the street. They obviously didn't agree with my assessment. <laughs> right, I'm happy with that. New shifts are available. A new day in the office. Check available shifts. Each week you can request up to four shifts. So, let's do it.
let's select this shift. We're going to do another 15 minute one. You are required to follow the traffic rules. Yeah, I probably shouldn't be running across the road either, but. is what it is okay so the radar gun helps you identify speed in vehicles when patrolling on foot most residents follow brighton's road traffic laws but there are the few that drive faster than the speed limit as a proficient officer you will probably be able to spot the speeding vehicle without the radar gun but you need the photographic evidence it supplies the report to the speeder Press and hold the Y to open the tool, select the radar gun, once you have it uh, equipped, aim with LT, take the picture with RT, and report the vehicle with A, or discard the image with B. Recently, we've been receiving a lot of complaints about cars driving too fast. Maybe you can pay special attention to speeders? Copy that. Okay, so I'm just going to pull up the map. Um, Beaumont Landing is this entire area. So where we're standing we can start now one of the things that i do like to do i'm gonna equip the gun is go and stand up higher and the bottom right you can speed see the speed limit so along this street it's 35 so if i click and hold that one's fine that one's fine we caught him going too fast nice we can also do other stuff on shift but you get the most bonus bonus points for working or catching speeders Oh, that one's looking fast. No, it's fine. That one's fine. Couldn't get a reading on that car then. Okay, he's doing fine. Is your parking ticket while I'm here? car over there is parked on the sidewalk that's gonna bug me <laughs> as an officer of the law yeah that's going too fast oh i couldn't grab it ah he got away with a big one there
He looks like he's going quite quick. Let's prepare. Oh no, that's slowed down. Yep, 35, that's fine. Okay. That one. Well, it sometimes it looks like they're going faster than they actually are. Let's move on and find another little area. Okay, so over Hi, here. Officer. Hi there. This is 25 miles an hour down here. Bought you, mate. Parking in the wrong direction. Naughty, naughty. He's going too fast. Oopsie, not you, sorry. You can go. You can go. Sorry. We want to find that person. Yes! Boom! Oh, license plate has expired. Ooh! Okay. Oh, yeah. July 22. Expired license plate. Can't go that way. Lots of people speeding around here. Tell that was going too fast straight away. You could just hear it. That's fine. That one looks fine. Yep. That one looks fine as well to me, yeah. That one looks fine. Oh no! How you doing, officer? Uh I'm fine. That 
actually didn't look like it was speeding, but... Cool, that was nearly an accident over there. Nearly an accident! It's fine. <laughs> My 15th report of the day! I am doing it! Oh, you look like you're speeding. But you're not? Okay. You proved me wrong. Your car shouldn't be allowed on the road, but I bet that's something that will come up later. Shouldn't be... Shouldn't be doing that. Do you have to be up here as well? It's kind of awkward, really. It's like he's assessing me or something. But he was there first. Okay, let's go find another spot. just standing at the wall. It's a bit weird. I'm supposed to report suspicious activity, but that's pretty suspicious to me. That car over there is pointing the wrong way. Yeah. Yep, he's fine. See, now I don't know if that's too far away from the road or not. noisy. So this is 25. Doing, I am doing Hi, great. Citizen. Thank you very much, citizen. Mm, yeah, this would be quite an interesting spot. Someone straight away. Boya. That one looks fine. Yeah. The only issue is they're going to slow down at this point to get to the junction, so it's not actually a good spot thinking about it. Monday... no, you're fine then. <laughs> Why do I enjoy it so much? What's the matter with me? Okay, let's check this out. Parking Monday noon, let's find them. So this is also 25 miles an hour.
Your shift is over, officer. Oh, shift is off over already. All right, let's go back to the police station. What's up, officer? Hey. Nice. Hey! Oh, you're not talking to me today then. End the shift. I feel like that was a good shift. Did we do anything wrong? No, we didn't. Two stars. Boom. We've unlocked a new tool. Photo camera. A new call out type. Minor incident. A new neighbourhood. Chester. Excellent. Woohoo! Well, thank you so much for joining me, guys. I hope you've enjoyed this. If you have, you know what to do. Hit that like button. Subscribe to my channel for more videos like this on Police Simulator Patrol Officers. I'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.